Hey everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Roses Redux with the uh, Warrior deck. So yeah, last time we uh, we defeated Jesper, Dice Tutor, and uh, I think Shadi as well. So uh, today we're going to do Bakora and uh, we'll see uh, how far we can uh, go. Kind of depends really. Uh, depends on how long Yu-Gi-Oh! usually takes, like... Some of these battles can take up, it's either that it takes 5 minutes or it takes 30 minutes, I swear, it's one or the other, so. Depending on what, um, we might beat the game today, or at least this part. Um, not a great opening hand, though. Garma Sword is dark. Uh, Kuna of Chain doesn't have a uh, type requirement, so it's fine. Garma Sword against who are you strong against spellcasters? Okay, I do know we have. I think we have Black Luster Soldier is strong against uh, dragons, so hopefully we can get him into the side or onto the field. A Shogun, that's definitely not a bad card to get. I mean, honestly, it's probably the best card we could have drawn. Alright, uh, Magic Drain, that kind of sucks, but it's only three stars they take from us. I mean, it also helps if we just get something like uh, Queen's Double here. So we can just make another Performance of Sword here. Um, Gate Deke is a really good card to get. Yeah, I got this off screen. Alright, that's just a black and fire dragon. So uh, we do 1815 damage to the life points. Which is like almost half, right? That's quite good. Ooh. I don't know why I did that though. Sometimes I just have these random glitches and they're a little annoying. Um I think we obviously use his effect. It's interesting how they put you in that position. We do this, and that's just a weak and trihorn dragon. And there goes Summon Skull was in defense mode. And well now we can just um you know win.
Yeah, sure. We'll use uh, Raymundo. So yeah, that was a really easy fight. Oh well, we got magic drain out of that. That might have some use out ton now, but it could be useful maybe. All right, next up is Yugi. We actually do have some terrain in our advantage to start off with, which is interesting. I mean, a feral imp. Got an idea of just um, throwing out <laughs> Gate Guardian. I'm just kind of curious if he bites. I kind of figured it was Summon Skull, but, you know, it's probably got one trap card in there already, but yeah, no, I mean, this is like almost 2,000 life point uh, damage to him. You have to be mostly careful for his mirror forces. Uh, oops. Well, we'll use a Hinotama. I mean, if it baits out like a Magic Jammer, that'd be cool. It doesn't, but... Yeah, he puts everything into defense mode immediately. I've got a suspicious feeling that that is a uh, trap card. So let's try our hand at that. Yep. I kind of find sacrifice and judge, man. We can make a. Uh, a bunch of them anyways. Alright, well he's going offensive. Alright, I kind of wish I used this card before. Alright, that's kind of annoying.
Okay, well, I'll just get rid of my Sogan as well, I guess. Um, well, it's not super ideal, I guess, here. Think they should make Judge Man again. Yep. It's probably gonna take a bit. As there's Mirror Force back again, I'm assuming. Yeah, that is one thing you do. Uh, that's one of the more annoying things, the fact that there's like... Uh, three of those. Ah, oh, this just makes Punished Eagle again, okay. So I know for a fact he's got his Mirror Force up again. Uh, who is this? Summon Skull with, with a dark energy attached to it. See, this is just smart. We don't take any damage, plus we got rid of this Mirror Force again. Ah, it's just kind of a shame to use Sogan here. I got a little trick on my sleeve. Although this might kind of elongate the match a bit. Kageningen, um, sure. But he's definitely got probably like another mirror force up. Does not have a mirror force up. Swordsman from the foreign land can kind of just get rid of one of his cards. Alright, well that's something that I think is really annoying, is the fact that this stupid Summon Skull doesn't want to even bother going onto the meadow. It's a hard quest. It's a hard 
choice, but I think we're gonna have to make it because he just doesn't want to. Okay. Well, I mean, at least two mirror forces are gone. did get what we need at least Ooh! fucking finally he decides to go on that spot So yeah, boom, we fused to make Black Luster Soldier. Aha! Yeah, Black Lost Soldier is a um, pretty cool dude. Oh, cool, he gets Destiny Draw. What will it be? It's probably Mirror Force again. No, it's his magician of black chaos who's been only well, has 2300 attack for whatever reason. I don't know why. I didn't use, I think, any sort of effects to lower their strength. So. Or not that I can think of. Alright, it's not Mirror Force. I'm gonna assume it's Raigeki then, that he dreamed. Or Ryoku and he hasn't used it yet. Also, he's got... How many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards on the field. Alright, let's give Garma Sword a kunai with chain. Perfect. I think we just win now, because um, 
Yeah, we get that plus 900 bonus against spellcasters. Like, sure, Dark Magician Girl would have just edged over um, Performance of Sword here, but. Well, you have Garma Sword. Alright, well, I mean, it still took a bit of time to beat him, but. I think it also could have been a lot worse. I mean, look at how many fucking cards he had on the field. Like, I'm going to assume, like, there's probably a, a spellbinding circle. I'm assuming he, he ended up drawing right Geki, right? Like, I'm... I, I'm assuming right Geki was on the field, and he probably just had something like a spellbinding circle and like maybe Monster Born or a uh, Dark Energy that he just laid on the uh, field instead of using it. Um, instead of using it against uh, or on as one of his monsters. Or like a Magic Jammer, something like that. But yeah, um, we just have the final battle of this part left, and uh, it's kind of always awkward when this is the only thing I've got left for next episode, because usually, like, this battle is so unpredictable in the sense of how long it takes. Like, some of, sometimes this battle takes literally, like, five minutes, and sometimes this battle can take up to 30 minutes. A lot of it, like, this battle is just down to mostly just luck. But, um, yeah. Mana Vidan Fabler. Uh, I will be facing him off in the next episode. So, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.